Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, good morning. Today we will uh, study new material. The name of the material is offering help or services. Uh, with me, Mr. Karsindra Mata, we will learn about this material together. Okay, but before that, I would like to tell you a little a little about me. Yeah, my name is Sekar Sendramata, you can call me Sekar, and then I was born in Bengkulu Selatan, 21st of November, 1986, and I live in Kudus, my house is near Klimon Traditional Market, and my status is that I'm married, and I have three kids, and the last, my hobbies are watching movies and drawing, and of course, in this year, I will be your English teacher. Okay, that's all about me. Now, let's go on. Kita lanjut saja. When we want to study about new material, it's uh, important for you to know the goal of the learning. Jadi, kita harus tahu tujuan kita belajar itu apa. And here, uh, in this um, material, you will learn about how to offer a help or services. Jadi, bagaimana cara mengungkapkan, menawarkan jasa maupun bantuan and of course with the response tentunya dengan responnya and then in the end of this lesson you will be able to create a dialogue maybe that consists of uh, offering help or services and also the responses jadi nanti terakhir kalian akan mampu mengcreate, membuat dialog yang berisi tentang ungkapan menawarkan bantuan atau jasa beserta dengan respon oke okay. And then uh, the the next can uh, do you ever hear these uh, expressions? Pernah enggak kamu dengar uh, ungkapan seperti ini? What can I do for you? Nah, coba ada kata-kata for you. Nah, artinya apa? Oke, okay, very good. For you untukmu. Jadi di sini maksudnya apa yang bisa saya lakukan untukmu? Berarti di sini dia sedang offering ya, menawarkan help menawarkan sebuah bantuan. Nah, pernah enggak kamu memperhatikan orang di sekitarmu? Kamu harus lebih uh, tahu dengan kondisi sekitarmu and then apakah mereka butuh bantuan atau tidak? Nah, kira-kira kamu punya keahlian yang cukup enggak untuk membantu mereka? Nah, jadi ini harus kalian jawab seperti itu. And then how to offer a help or services? Cara menawarkan bantuan atau jasa. Di sini kita akan belajar bareng-bareng. And then I have some example yang paling sederhana kamu bisa bilang seperti ini. Can I uh, for example, can I help you? Nah, itu gampang banget ya, very easy. Bisa saya bantu? Nah, itu berarti kamu menawarkan. Oke, okay, next. Uh, I have a video. Please observe the video. Tolong diamati videonya. And guess what is happening? Dan kamu tebak ini isinya apa? Oke, okay, are you ready? Okay, I will play it to you. Yeah, so in this video, uh, you see that the man is trying to help the other man. Jadi kamu lihat laki-laki yang tadi baru datang itu mencoba untuk membantu ya. But what is happening? Apa yang terjadi? Nah, ternyata bukannya membantu, malah justru dia uh, give a wrong help, memberikan bantuan yang salah. Karena that car is not the man's car. Jadi mobilnya tadi bukan mobil bapak tadi ya. Nah, seperti itu. Oke, okay, supaya kalian tidak uh, melakukan this kind of actions, so you need to have a little conversation. Jadi, ketika mau membantu seseorang itu, harus ada percakapannya dulu. Oke, okay, let's see uh, another slide. Nah, I have an example. Saya punya contohnya. 
bagaimana kita memberikan bantuan with a little uh, conversation dengan sedikit percakapan. For example, Hello, what are you doing there? Want a hand? Nah, kata-kata want a hand ini maksudnya apa kamu butuh bantuan? Bukan yang mau tangan ya, tapi di sini apa kamu butuh bantuan? And then the other man will respond like this. Hi, no thanks. I'm just exercising beside this car. Oh, that's cool. What is your name? Nah, di sini tidak terjadi um, kesalahan dalam memahami kondisi seseorang ya. Kemudian di sini mah mereka saling berkenalan. What is your name? Oh, I'm Fred and you? I'm Anton. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nah, so this is the correct conversations. Okay, now another example. Please listen to this. I will give you an example of offering help or services. So this is a situation. Your friend's nanny has a problem with her laptop. And you as her friend want to give a help. Okay, this is the example. Please check this out. Good morning, Noni. What's wrong with you? You look so confused. Can I help you? Oh, hi, Ririn. Yes, please help me. My laptop is not responding. I don't know what's wrong with my laptop. Oh, would you like, would you like me to check your laptop? Oh, yes, please. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Okay, next, I will give you another example in a dialogue. Please pay attention. Morning. Can I help you? Yes, please. My laptop is not responding. What's wrong with my laptop? I don't know more about computer. How to fix Windows 7 when not responding? Okay, and then the man will say, let me check first. Oh, I see. Just a little problem. I can help you. Wait for a few minutes. Okay, sir. Yeah, finish. Would you like another helping of your laptop? Oh, no thanks. I don't want another helping. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Nah, this dialogue show uh, some offering help or services. Can you show which uh, expression? Kau bisa tunjukkan yang mana? Yeah, very good. This one. Can I help you? Bisa saya bantu? Nah, ini menunjukkan menawarkan bantuan. And then another one. Mungkin saja kalau temennya atau partnernya butuh bantuan lain, kamu bisa bilang seperti ini. Would you like another helping of your laptop? Jadi bisa kamu bilang, would you like another helping of bla bla bla. Nah, ini apakah kamu mau bantuan lain? Bla bla bla, nah bisa kamu ganti sendiri. Jangan lupa untuk direspon. Di sini temannya merespon dengan kata-kata, yes, please, my laptop is not responding. Berarti ini yang accepting apa yang refusing? Ya, yeah, very good. Ini yang accepting. Kemudian yang terakhir, temannya uh, merespon dengan no thanks. Nah, berarti ini yang refusing. Karena sudah cukup bantuannya. Oke, okay, now we will talk about the structure of the text. Don't forget to give opening. Jadi greeting dulu, salam dulu, tanya situasinya dulu, and then responding, and then offering service or help. Kemudian di sini merespon. Nah, ini struktur Oke, okay, now if you uh, see this kind of situations, what will you say? Oke, okay, very good. You will say maybe, uh, can I help you to bring the books? Bisa seperti itu. Atau bisa juga kamu bilang, would you like me? To bring the book for you. Apakah kamu mau saya bantu membawakan bukunya untukmu? Nah, yang sesederhana mungkin silakan kamu uh, katakan ketika melihat situasi seperti ini. Oke, okay, now exercise. Sekarang latihan. Please make a dialogue based on based on the situation. Elisa wants to open her laptop, but she cannot open because she forget the password to log in. So please give help to her. Nah, coba di Buat konsepnya dulu, kamu coba membuat dialognya berdasarkan situasi ini. Oke, okay. oke, okay. thank you for watching this video. I hope it will be useful for you. Semoga bermanfaat. And if you have any problem, you can contact my WA number. Thank you for your attention. See you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.